Jason. Today we are at Gogo Curry in Akihabara, and we're here to finish the debate of who is the god of curry, Coco or Gogo. Then it's quiet. Okay, so I got here and I ordered the large plate. Um, they have a small, medium, large, and like jumbo, and then I think they have like a challenge plate too. Um, but this one, I got the chicken cutlet, so it's fair. It's uh, easy to compare with the cocoa. And this, <laughs> this looks really good. That smells pretty amazing. So let's try just some rice and curry first. Oh wow, it's a thicker curry than cocoa, definitely thicker, and it's a very different taste, but it's very good. Um, Spice-wise, I think it's more mild than cocoa's, and I didn't see any option to adjust the spice level, but it was very good. All right, let's try out this cutlet. The cutlet looks very substantial, like it's a thicker cut than what you get at cocoa. The chicken looks very juicy, very well cooked, the batter looks beautifully golden and crispy and delicious. Right, let's give it a shot. Oh, that is amazing. Mm. That chicken is perfectly cooked. It is so juicy. So full of flavor. The batter is nice and crispy. Ah, it adds a nice crunch. Very, very good. This is awesome. They also give you some shredded cabbage to kind of cleanse your palate in between bites. So it's like, this curry is very rich. It's richer than what you get at cocoa. This is so good. This chicken cutlet is definitely one of the better ones I've had in a long time. <laughs> they also have a pickled icon that you can add. Just like at Cocoa, so let's try it with. I think it's or it's maybe, maybe it's pickled ginger. Let's try it. Let's dig on. Mm, this is so good. They definitely are not shy with the curry, so you will have more curry than you than uh, what you can get with what you can eat with the rice and the chicken. But that's not a bad thing. Definitely have the pickled veggies because it adds such a nice flavor to this curry and it just takes it up to the next level. So when you do get here, there's a vending machine kind of like at ramen places. You'll first insert your money, then you choose which curry and what size you want. Then it'll spit it out and then they'll tear half the ticket and take it to the kitchen. So that way when you seat, they know you know what where you are at and they'll bring you your order as soon as it's ready. All right, I'm going to scarf the rest of this down and then we'll be right back outside to do the final verdict. All right, so just finished up and it was way better than I was expecting. So, um, I mean, I've had it before, but I remember there being a huge gap between Coco and Gogo. But this time around, man, it was close. So we're gonna go through the, 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 the tenets and we'll see how they, how they fared. So the first category is curry flavor. And I'm gonna give it a four out of five because, uh, actually, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five because I, I still prefer the cocoa, the cocoa curry flavor. Um, it's just something about it. And, and I also like the, that it's a little thinner. It's not as quite as like thick. Uh, well, obviously, uh, it's not quite as thick as the uh, go-go curry is. Katsu, oh wow, that blew me away. I think I might have rated cocoa's a little, little too high, um, but I'm gonna give them a, a perfect five out of five. That katsu, uh, was was that cutlet was so amazing it was uh, thicker and it was bigger so it was exactly like addressing the complaint I had uh, the minor complaint I had at Coco's um, and it was the, the chicken was cooked perfectly it was so delicious all right then customization I'm gonna give it a three out of five because um, while they don't have like the individual customization that you get at a cocoa where you can like basically customize any dish you have like with a whole array of options you're a little bit more limited here there are some sides you can get you can order an extra cutlet or things like that um, 
but you you can't tweak the spice level as quite a I couldn't find it and, and if I did then that's my fault but I do feel even though or even if you could Coco still has more a lot more options in terms of types of curry you can get beef pork veg, vegetarian and gluten-free um, and they also have more more like a variety of toppings so that's why I'm giving Gogo a three out of five then it comes to value I'm gonna give them a five out of five that big plate that I had was um, it was 950 yen so really close I think it actually might be a little bit cheaper than than uh, Coco but no actually Coco I got a coke so it's, it's about the same it's the difference is negligible still really good value so that's uh, we got five what did I give it? Five, four point five, five and three. So that's seventeen and a half. That's really good. that's seventeen and a half out of twenty. That's really respectable. But I think I yeah, Coco's still wins. And that's again, this is this is like according to me. This is my taste preferences. Um, but they are both amazing and both worth your your time and effort. But if you only have time to visit one when you're here, I would recommend Coco. It is so amazing. Coco Ichibanya is the best. But Gogo, you gave, looking at you, Gorilla, you gave a valiant uh, effort, really good, uh, really solid curry. So, and uh, the, I mean, the view from where I'm at, you can see, look how beautiful. I love Akihabara at night. Well, folks, that's gonna bring us to the end of this epic battle. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Let me know in the comments below, do you agree with my opinions? Um, if you've tried both Coco and Gogo, which is your favorite? And if you're coming to Japan, are you gonna try giving any of these places a go? If so, let me know down below. So if you enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated. It definitely helps the channel grow and helps this uh, find new audiences. Also, uh, make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell notification so as soon as new videos pop up, you're gonna be the first to find out about it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end, and until next time, stay curious.